Hey, welcome back. So with the temperatures warming up for this season, Chef Len is here to tell us about some grilling techniques out here on the weather deck. Right. So you have some amazing smelling meats roasting right now and you're going to show us yeah. what we should do. Yeah, so um, I'm doing ribs today. Um, go ahead. And you so there's my brother Bruce here. Okay. Putting a you know, beat down. Uh, so we have, uh, um, I'm doing a roasted corn, right? We do a elote. We have a white barbecue sauce that we use um, and then we'll put a little bit of uh, dry rub on it and then We'll put uh, some Parmesan and stuff, and I got ribs and a brisket that I brought okay. that we slice up. But, you know, cooking techniques are simple. Um, I think if you are able to get your meats to a room temperature and then uh, put it on the grill so you don't shock the protein, um, that's a good t tip, I think. Okay. Uh, let it sit for like an hour at room temp and then put it on the grill. Okay. I think a lot of times that's a, that's a good one. And okay. then we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and put all that in there, and we're, we'll move forward with this. I'll get this yep, go I'm gonna get this brisket off. See how that That's fantastic. Oh my goodness. We're good. I like yes. it. Yes. Yeah, so we take the um come over in a second. Yep. So we take this and we took the we'll take the white sauce. We make a homemade uh, white sauce to the Alabama barbecue sauce. Okay. And we run this over the top. So it's kinda like that when you do elote, typically it's um, the corn has a mayonnaise. And then we use okay. um, a little dry rub. And And that white sauce is mayonnaise and what else? Uh couple different ingredients. Top but, secret? Top secret. <laughs> no, not okay. really. And then so so that's that's setting ready to go like that. And then top we have our cheese, ribs. Okay. Yeah. So we, we have the, the cheese that comes with it. Um, right. We make all our sauces in house. I have uh, chips and I brought a whole spread for you guys. Apparently there's only like 60 here, but you're going to eat well. So, <laughs> oh my uh, goodness. We'll be eating all so, morning. So uh, dry rub chips. So we take our dry rub and put it on the chips. We have okay. blue cheese uh, dip that we make in house, uh, yeah. um, a coleslaw that we have. And then I, I brought some banana pudding because nothing says barbecue then. The old banana pudding. I'm gonna slice this real quick. That looks so good. And so, and the good thing about brisket, you get a nice smoke ring on it, but the test with brisket when you go to do it, if it's, it has a little elasticity to it, okay. that's when you know it's a, a really good pr quality product. And I always okay. take it and put it in a, one of these, do some of this, and I take our homemade pickles and put Yum. it on. That looks so good. That's a great idea with the tortilla too. It makes it a little love, bit easier so, to eat. So easy. You can do walking tacos, if you will, and then you sure. put a little sauce on top, and then we're sure. all set and we're out of here. And this is great, you know, starting the spring and then all summer long, great if you're hosting parties and things. Right. It's easy enough just to stick in and, and people can kind of serve yeah. themselves. And I mean, doing large amounts and, and you know, doing the food like this, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it always works well. Just put it on the table, let them go and, and have a good time. I mean, enjoy the time with people. Yes. That's really what, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Hey, right? people love gathering around food. Yeah, love it. Especially love it. when it looks this delicious. So Alrighty, good. thank you so much, yeah, Chef Len. We My appreciate pleasure. it. We My have pleasure. all the information for you to check out on our website at 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.